Okay, so hello, welcome back to another DiscoBot tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be using our new database services that we set up last video. We're gonna be able to now create an item as well as just getting it. So currently we have a command to get item info that anyone can use. And this video, we're gonna create an admin only command that allows admins to essentially create new items. So currently all you can do is set the name and description. And once we've got that set up, then in the future when we add new stuff like price or you know stuff like that, we're gonna allow them to add that on as well. So it'd be very easy to expand and build upon as we you know make this more complex. I hope you guys are looking forward to the video. Well, let's get into it. But of course, first I've got to thank my patrons, a special thanks to Bird or Die, Francisco Diaz, Rack, Yoris Letter, Hades Orko, Art Farrell, and Marie Baldwin. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, the link to my Patreon is down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, as well as our website. If you could help us out by following on any of those or creating a free account over our website and checking it out, it would be greatly appreciated. Now let's get to the video. Okay, so last time we made this RPG commands class. We made the item service. So over here, we've got the item service, which has a method for getting an item by name. Obviously, that's a useful one we want to have. So what we do is we lower the name coming in, and then when we search the items in the database, we then say essentially say, um, lower the name and check it to this so we know regardless of casing they're both the same and if it gets one back remember getting the first one that meets this condition then we will return it we return it back here into the text step if it matches the name they put in and then if the items null we just tell them there's no item called that otherwise we then say here's some information about the item now eventually we're going to make this a bit better than just name description but it works and if we look over in discord from last time item info then I must have typed here name here description test description Okay, and then I put in some other stuff, nothing happened, and then yeah, there's no item called that. So it works last time. Now what we want to do is we want to make a make another command, but it's admin only, and it will do creating items. So let's get into it. So I think the first place to start is over in the item service. We're actually going to make the method for uh, adding a data, sorry, adding a new item, right? So it's going to be asynchronous, so we need to make it a task, and it's going to return nothing. It's just going to create the item, right? That's the thing. So we're going to call it create new item async and it's going to take in an item obviously it's up to the command to build up the item instance and then pass it into this method and this method just handles the actual database part okay so we'll go down here there are some other things we need to configure in here with uh, how we store the context and dispose of it and stuff but it should be fine how it is right now we're not going to you know meet any problems with it but there are definitely some things we can do we can make a base class and have some common methods in here but currently we have you know two so it's not really going to be a big a big deal eventually when we have loads of services and different models and stuff we're going to want some way to make our life easier but yeah i keep saying that uh we shouldn't really really worry about it at the moment what we're going to do is to create a new item well here's the item so what do we want to do we really just want to say add it to the database so it's context dot add okay we're going to add the item now we need to await this, which means this needs to be asynchronous. So we're gonna say await database.addit, but just adding doesn't really do anything. Um, it just adds it into a buffer essentially, and then we have to call save to actually save all the things in that buffer. So we're adding it, and then we're also gonna say await context.save changes async, okay? Um, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so just like here, we say get it and return it. Here we're saying add it and then save it. Okay, that's all we're doing. Um, when they create a new one, we say add and then save, done. Um, okay, that's pretty much it. We don't wanna return anything, we just do this. Okay, now the service doesn't have any you know, checking of permissions. That's up to the command to do it. So if we go to RPG commands, we're gonna make a new command. So this command, uh, whoops. This command can be called, what should they type in? Um, create item, okay. So we've got command to create item, public async, task create item takes in a command context just like any other command okay we also want to add one more tag so we're going to add the uh, requires roles and then we're saying it requires um, any of the roles supplied here they have to have and then we just pass in the role name we're just going to say admin now i can't actually remember if i made it admin or so we've got member do we have any other roles server settings roles we don't have any other roles. So I'm gonna actually create an admin role real quick. So admin, not gonna bother setting anything on a special. Well, actually let's make it admin and give it blue at the top or something. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself admin. Other people can't do this now. You get how to set up roles in Discord, I'm sure. Okay, so now admins can use this only and uh, make sure it's the same casing. I'm not sure if it will require, require roles, checks casing, but I've made it uppercase, it's all good. Okay, let's go into the next part. 
So at this point, if we get to here and run this code here, it means that they're definitely an admin and that they've done the command create item. So we want to then make a dialogue for them to essentially create an item, okay? So the first step for an item is gonna be a text step like this, okay? So this text step uh, is the item name step. What, um, what will the item be called, okay? Uh, and then obviously this is the next step. We do actually have a next step, so we're gonna to have to make that one too. Now remember, you have to create the steps back to front so that you can actually set them in this. Now, yeah, you could do it in order and then set them later, but for the sake of this, I think it's a lot easier just to say uh, item description step. Okay, We've got item description. What, um, what is the item about? You know, I mean, you, you can call this what you want. We need to say, the uh, next step from the item name is the item description step, okay? Item description step. Now we've got these two steps, we need to say what happens on valid result. So item name step dot on valid result gives us a uh, result. So result. What do we want to do with the result? Well, we want to set a value in a model. So right here, we're going to say uh, var item equals new item, okay? So we're creating a new item which has no name and no description, it's just empty, right? We want to say when the name step's done, set item.name equal to result, okay? And then we want effectively the same thing here, oops, we want effectively the same thing here for the uh, description step, so description step result item.description. So now we're saying when these steps are done, we set the variables on this item, on the, these properties, okay? And then once we've done that, we then just do the usual uh, set, set up of the dialog handler. And here is where you get to choose, do you want to do the dialog in DMs or do you want to do it in the server? Now I feel like it makes sense to do it in DMs or you can have like a separate admin channel for this or something. If you have a separate admin channel, you don't even need to set the require roles. Technically you can just do it in a certain channel and set the roles uh, in your server to only allow admins to access that channel. It's completely up to you. I'm going to go for DMs probably. So. I think I actually have a DM thing example. If I go over to fun commands uh, to get someone's DM channel somewhere we have this. Here we are, get the user channel. We go back to RPG commands. And just before we do this dialog, we get the user channel and we say, do it in that channel instead. Okay, so we're gonna do a dialog in DMs. Okay, and then here we just say, if not succeeded, return false or return even finally at this point we've now done the dialogue for setting up the item all we want to do is save it to the database and then do anything after that right so we now want to say await item service dot create new item async passing in the item they filled in okay so it only does that if they actually finish filling it in okay so now we've created a new item in the database and afterwards we can then say for example item successfully made or whatever, right? So if this succeeds, if it doesn't throw an error, then we'll get to this line, which will be um, await context dot send oh, dot channel, sorry, dot send message async. The message is just gonna be um, item successfully created. Okay. We can even say item item dot name successfully created and items can even have ID numbers right we can have the ID from the database and then maybe even we want uh, item info that you can get by ID you know we'll think about that kind of stuff but for now this is fine await context of channel that send message item successfully created okay and then after we've made this after we've done this step we can follow up and test this command again and see if our new item is found and it should be obviously um, so yeah let's just quickly add the configure weights that I want to do which is always false uh, in here. Okay, this should be good to go. Let's go test it. So let's do create item. Okay, I get a DM. What will the item be called? Um, test shield, okay. What is the item about? Um, it blocks stuff, you know, whatever. And then we're done. We should probably have a thing to say it was successfully made. But as you see over here, some database stuff's going on in the bot. So if we go back over to the server now, item test shield successfully created. So now if we do item info, okay, 
What item are you looking for? I'm looking for the test shield. Name, test shield, description. It blocks stuff. Okay. So now we can actually, as an admin, create items and then people in our server can go and look and read up items, right? So I can say, I want item info for uh, this. Now, obviously, in the server, it also leaves a bit of mess. You have your commands left like this. So maybe you want to delete the uh, the original message. You can do that, obviously. So that's something to think about. And then we might even want to get rid of this item info after a bit, or maybe we want to send it in our DMs, right, rather than in the server to people. So it doesn't make as much mess. But that stuff is all up to you. You can easily tweak stuff like that. Uh, just keep in mind, guys. So this variable here in the dialogue handler, the third, sorry, the second parameter is the channel where the dialogue is done. So you either use the DM channel that you can get here, or you just use the context channel, which is where they did the command. Um, keep in mind, you can also change, but you can change whatever you like, obviously. Feel free to have a mess around with it. Uh, you can change, you can make some more methods for how to get items. Have a look into Entity Framework Core and see what kind of database things you can do here. Look at the methods on, you know, context. Uh, I think last time we did set it up so that it has no tracking. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's all good. So feel free to go ahead and make some more commands in your own time. Let me know down below what kind of commands you want to see. In the next video, um, my current plan is to do something like uh, adding more data to items. So I'll show you how to add more data and do migrations. So that next video we can um, yeah, add some more stuff to an item class, like a price. We'll add a price uh, property and then we'll do the migration. We can then in the service, we don't, we don't really need to change anything in the service right now. And then over here, we can add an extra step for setting the price, which will basically be two more lines. We just want to set a line for the new step and a line here for um, setting the result of the step. Okay, and we can set like a min and a max price by using the int input, so that's pretty cool. You can also limit the name and description length if you want with this, so that's, that's another thing you can do. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. And then once we've got the item price in the video after that, we can then start creating, you know, buying and selling and currency. So that'll be something pretty fun to do. Obviously, we need to store like people's accounts and their, um, you know, they need to like register an account or something along those lines. Maybe just tie it to their Discord account, right? Tie their Discord account in the database to um, their currency. And then when they do certain stuff, you want to give them currency and they can buy and sell and all that lot. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty fun. Let me know down below what you want to see. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share the video with friends, people you might think are interested. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, though it's going to be quite a while to my next video because I'm going away for a week. We'll be streaming, but there won't be any videos until I'm back. So yeah, there might be a week or a bit without videos. Now, I might try and do videos on the way, but I doubt it'll happen. So I hope you guys can last till then. Uh, I'm looking forward to going away. I'm also looking forward to coming back and continuing the videos. Uh, sorry this outro has been a bit longer. I've just been blabbering. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then and goodbye.